Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me again on Little Lady Plays. Today's video, I have this great game. It's called SMAF. If you want to see more of these videos or any videos in general, education, fun, well, don't be a stranger and don't forget to subscribe because SMAF is definitely one of the coolest games ever. So, let's check it out. As you could see, SMAF, in my opinion, looks like your typical Scrabble board. So right here, you know, learning how to play was really easy because it was something I was familiar with. It was something the kids were familiar with. And that's always a huge plus. In addition to the Scrabble board, I'm just going to show you the box with all the pieces. You have all these really neat pieces. And yes, they're all math based. Look at this. All math based pieces. You have numbers. You have property signs. You have, this is my favorite, um, quotation marks. And then of course you have the game board. So before you start playing, you want to separate the quotations, sorry, the quote, um, parentheses, excuse me, parentheses marks from the equal signs because you're going to see how to play it later. And the, my favorite part is that you can customize it. So for example, if a kid is only playing um, multiplication and addition, so you only include the multiplication and addition cards. If they know division as well, add the division, but only include or subtraction too, only include the properties that your kids are familiar with. So right then and there, totally cool, totally educational. Now, obviously you want to hide the numbers, the kids can't see it, and then randomly pick out 10 tiles and Look how nicely they sit on the display. So you have your 10 tiles and now you are set to go. Now the goal of this game is to create as many equations as you can and of course win. So looking at my cards, I might do, again we start here, 10 plus, and the kids have to think about it, 10 plus what? Oh, well I see here an 8 and a 2 is 10, so I must do, or I might do, 10 plus 0 equals... Um, and then I grab an equal sign, which that's another thing I love is that the equal signs, you actually don't have to win them. So you're always doing an equation, which for educational purposes, that is totally my favorite. So 10 plus 0 equals 8. Oh, I actually, okay. Again, I guess, okay. Equals <laughs> 8 plus... Uh, equals 10. I did not have another plus. See how that worked? I did not have another plus. I had to improvise in the moment. 10 plus 0 equals 10. Kind of had no choice. Then again, I'll pick up some more tiles. And let's say for this one, 10 equals, let's just say now, I'm going to do 10 ah, equals 8 plus 2. Now, if I have a lot of um, numbers, and let's say I want to really expand it, um, let's say I have another 10 and I want to do 8 plus 2 and I want to equal to 0, so I'm going to do 8 plus 2 times 0 uh, plus 10 or whatever the case is, I can actually put down my quotations over here, no, sorry, parentheses, I keep calling them quotations, sorry, I'm in English mode right now, please forgive me, so I put down my parentheses, you can see they fit right over it, and then I could see, hmm, 10 plus 2, and again, depending on my thing, or I could do maybe divided by one. So 10, or let's just do it. 10 plus two times zero. Um, I have to find the zero. 10 plus two, well, you know, times zero plus, let's say 10, whatever the case is, I can keep throwing out my numbers and making my equation equal to what I need. So this part is really for more advanced, you know, kids who do larger numbers. Um, oh, I can't seem to find a 10 for this one. Whatever the case is, you get the picture, is that the kids can actually keep doing math and you can add the skills based on what they're learning. Because you see, and also for when you do large numbers, you 10 plus 2, 10 plus, yeah, 8 plus 2 is 10, so the kids know it. Then you do multiplication next is times 0, so the whole thing is 0, and then you plus the 10, and then you get your same number, and the kids were able to just throw out a whole bunch of tiles and make super large numbers. So let's see what I like about this game. Number one, it is total math fun. Number two, oh, here's my 10 found the 10. Number two, you can really start this at a really, really young age. The kids could start off with something simple as addition, then once they do subtraction, add in a minus, add in a, um, a division, add in a, a multiplier. You just keep going. That's what I love. And take it a step further, all the other math games I featured did not have parentheses like this one has. So you're adding a new math skill to the math fun. Another thing I love about it is that the math is constantly changing. Because first of all, in addition to all this math, you have have these kind of um, giving you bonus points. So you're getting your bonus points. It could be the playing piece. It could be an equation. You know, just like Scrabble, 
you're constantly changing. You can make your equations as long or as short as you want. And you can really customize it for groups of kids, for single kids, you name it. Math is just, oh my goodness, one of those super, super math fun games. I've reviewed two math games, and I'm going to leave links below because both of the math games are total fun. But this one really takes it to a whole new level. As you can see, this one is the only one that includes the parentheses. And I could really, you know, expand the kids' knowledge of order of operations. And that is so amazing because that is something I've seen many kids struggle. And this is also math fun for older kids. So... Smath, yes or no? Totally yes. Love Smath. Really easy, really fun. Comes in tons and tons of great numbers. The one struggle I had is keeping the board flat in the beginning. I guess just play something hard on the bottom and then, uh, sorry, on top, and eventually it will work for you. And I will totally, totally recommend the game Smath. Another feature I love unlimited equal signs so your kids can keep expanding their equations without having to think about what they have on their board. So hands down, yes. If you have any questions about SMATH or any other games, well, let me know in the comment box below because I'm here for my kids, for your kids, for kids in general. Kids learn best as they're playing. Let me know what you think and feel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Happy playing!